So this is just um, if people have got more questions that they didn't want to ask earlier, but this is also a discussion for um, uh, OSR as, as an organization in itself. And any of you guys that, who came for the presentation are very welcome to stay um, and ask about who we are and what we're doing. Ioannis, I know that you had uh, a point that you'd like to raise. Uh, let me just check the, the agenda because then, then I can just mention the things. Yeah, so you want to talk about um, finding some other optional days and I would like to have a chat about whether we want to have some fixed points so we have the same agenda each time. And I was hoping we could get some updates from different software, but we can run through that and see uh, see what people know. So we do not have a lot of things we need to cover. Go ahead, Jonas. Okay, yeah. So I had posted the. What do you mean? Can I share my screen? Apparently, I have a problem uh, sharing my screen, but. I can uh, share it. What, is it the forum post you want to share? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, but I'll I, find it and share it in a moment. So paste the link. So I, there was a forum uh, post about uh, some alternative days uh, for the meetups and uh, some uh, because we need to have also some guests that uh, would like to do the presentations during uh, work hours. So I had the poll, one for uh, the day and one for uh, the, uh, the hours to see. Uh, so. This is the link that I said there for the post, and the, the, in there there are two links for the the, the polls that uh, where you can uh, click and you can vote if you want. And I think that uh, I will uh, make a post now. I will, I will give it two more weeks maybe, uh, and then we can uh, close the poll. I don't know. I was thinking that could be enough. Up to now, we don't have so much participation, but uh, I guess it's okay. And uh, let's say that for now, Thursday looks like uh, the day that is more, let's say, voted. And uh, for the time, we have uh, 19 uh, universal time. But I guess the time depends also on uh, the time zone of uh, the presenter. So perhaps it is not so, so much uh, important, but it's always good to know, let's say, the members, what are the, the best times for most of the people. Uh, it's okay. I don't want to take more time. Let's say if anyone wants uh, to click there and uh, vote, be my guest. And uh, that's it. I was thinking if we, if we start doing that, like we were two people, in, well, actually three people <laughs> were in today's meeting one or two hours early. Uh, I was there two hours early because I thought I was running late, so I quickly got everything working and then checked what time it was, and it was two hours later. And then Stephen and um, uh, someone else, I think it was Megan, turned up later. And um, so I was thinking one of the things we might want to do is adding – that information onto those little, um, onto those nice graphics that uh, Gokamu makes just down in the corner somewhere, like the time and the time zone, because it's, I, I'm surprised at how much of a pain it is when summertime is coming and leaving. Uh, yeah, I th for that, I think that uh, was seen what he proposed uh, the other time to have also a calendar file, maybe the best, let's say, way. Yeah, that's also one, good. Once you have the calendar time, then uh, if it's done correctly, it's it's okay. Let's say you don't, uh, it's going to be in your calendar. I think we looked at, I've, I've looked before WordPress and I couldn't find um, a calendar that you can subscribe to that works with the WordPress system, which I think is a real shame. Because uh, the alternative would be if somebody has a, I mean, there must be systems apart from Google's calendar system where where they can have a public calendar that people can subscribe to. And that, that's what always works best for me. I can see it in my calendar right next to something else I was about to say yes to. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm a bit yeah. relaxed. I'm a bit reluctant about doing it at lots of different times, but as you say, the important part is that um, is that people can present. Okay, cool. Um, and of course, who else is here? I know Bruno, Cyril, Stephen. It's the names that I know. Um, yeah, I was just wondering, what do you guys think about having um, some fixed points on the agenda for these meetings? Because I noticed that one of the things, especially for new people, like there's a few new people here, um, it could actually be really good if we just mention some of the projects that are going on. Because uh, those of us are here, we follow the forum quite closely, but I've noticed uh, a few times that people drop into these meetings who probably haven't been reading the forums. Um, maybe, uh, let's see, we've got, I think we've got three names that I don't recognize. You're very welcome to tell us. Maybe, maybe those of you who have not been so active and whose names I don't recognize uh, could just tell us where you heard about today's meeting and, and what you've heard about OSR or whether you dropped directly into the meeting. Could, could one of you say something about that? Michael, could you tell us about that? Sure, just a second, yeah. Because um, like this, in, in the course of a month at the moment, there's a lot of stuff happening. And Shimmy, you just dropped in as well. Where did you Where did you see that this meeting was even happening, Shimmy. Remember to turn on the chat, guys, if you want to follow what's happening there. Yeah, I was just uh, browsing websites, so it's pretty cool. Um, you guys seem to have a very uh, transparent and uh, dedicated team doing this uh, cool blending blender work. Um, I'm myself uh, someone who uses more Rhino and Grasshopper. And um, I've definitely used Blender a couple of times because I've also been someone who's very interested in scraping. Um, for me, Google Earth, pulling Google Earth data, which <coughs> I know that Vladimir was talking about textures and such. But for me, um, certain cities in Google Earth pulls you know, you're, you're able to generate buildings directly from that. And um, so I'm, I'm just seeing what you guys do here. I'm learning a little bit about Blender BIM. Yeah, Blender BIM, uh, I've been trying to work out what to call it, but it's one of our, our superstar projects. Like FreeCAD and, and Blender BIM and a couple of other ones, they're, they're sort of the superstars of what we're doing. Um, but there's a lot of stuff, like if you go into the wiki and look at the software directory you'll see that there's a lot of stuff in there um but you've had a look at the forum so you can see what's there I just, yeah it, go ahead. Uh, i was going to say that um it's um i'm, I'm also getting older and, and uh i'm looking around me there's my peers are typically either working hard or you know we're not really giving back to the community as much as i would like to and so i'm, I'm I like where I'm seeing with uh, open source Arch. Um, so I'm hoping that, um, yeah, I'll, I'll learn more from you guys. And you guys seem to be very technically advanced as well. So we'll see. You're very, you're very welcome to um, contribute with what you have. There's plenty of, there's plenty of little things to do. We've got people who work on the graphics and people who um, even just making good comments on uh, Twitter and LinkedIn. We have quite a large audience on LinkedIn. I just checked today and we're about, it's about 1,090 followers and we get quite a lot of interactions. So yeah, there's lots of ways to, uh, to, to spread the ideas that we're, that we're sort of working on and opening up design. What about you, Mako? I, I saw the, <clears throat> the meeting on the Facebook page of Prokitecture, which I'm following. And I was exactly looking for some 
tool uh, to generate hip, hip roofs. Actually, that's why I I saw the meeting today, only today, and I and I decided that I I have to I have to join because there might be some opportunity about uh, on talking about uh, this this tool. Mm, it 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 hasn't it hasn't like turn turn out uh, the way I expected, but I'm anyway I'm happy that I talked to you and I could hear what's going on and the ongoing development. It's it's cool. It's it's cool the the stuff that uh, that you are doing. I'd definitely ask in the forum. There's probably somebody who can who can tell you something there. Um, there's someone with username wrong. If you want to say something, you're very welcome to. But uh, so the idea of having some fixed points on the agenda that was just having an opportunity where, like, with these new people who are here, um, we could just run through some of the stuff that's happened. But that would also mean that we'd actually have to. One of us would actually have to. Um, have a bit of a list of what projects we want to mention and find a good way of not spending a lot of time on it. Um, so like for, for Blender BIM, it's very obvious to talk about the hard work that's going on with um, costing and planning and uh, teaching people that a lot of that information is actually possible to hold in IFC and they've been sharing a lot about doing um, construction animations uh, there's some good uh, there's some good posts from both uh, Yasin and Dion on LinkedIn about that. Freekid, uh, I haven't spoken, I haven't heard from Yorick recently, but I've seen a few small posts that he's made on Twitter, and it sounds like he's uh, doing a lot of stuff on drawing creation, which is so badly needed. Uh, and it sounds like together, it sounds like he's doing that with Ryan. I don't know if other people have noticed, but um, opening design with uh, Ryan and Yorick, uh, the last project they had, I don't know if it's finished or anything, but uh, and, am I right that it was it was totally done in FreeCAD and Blender? That was my impression from the post that I read. Please contradict me if... if uh, it was done in Blender and then... Uh, was uh, ported to FreeCAD for the for the drawings. Yeah. yeah, so that's a bit of a landmark, really, because Ryan has been wanting to do that for quite a while, but hasn't felt that getting away from Revit was really quite possible yet. So that's pretty cool. Yep. It is. Um, we definitely want to get a presentation from them before too long about where they're going, because I think that's what everybody wants to see. Oh, well, not I mean, okay. Not everybody. All of us architect people who sit and spend our days stuck in Revit would like to see. Uh, and Blender in general, I don't know if you noticed, but the um, whole asset manager. Um, yeah, the whole asset manager is coming in Blender version three. I don't know if that's how much of the code for the asset manager is. Is what. You've been working on, wasn't that, isn't that something you've been working on, Stephen? No, that's uh, Andrew, sorry. But it, uh, the videos that they've put up of how the asset manager works look pretty good. Uh, and again, that's the sort of thing that's going to make uh, architectural and, and building design work much easier. On the organizational front, there's nothing new. I just haven't had time to do anything. Uh, but I keep finding, if anyone else is interested, I keep finding lots of really, really interesting uh, videos and presentations about um, the whole organizational and financial aspect of uh, open source. Uh, yeah, so I've been doing lots of thinking. OK. Uh, the website, yeah, I don't. Most of you've probably seen, but um, Anton Tidoff has been doing some great stuff on the website. We've moved to the new uh, Matrix channel, which is nice. Now we've got a channel that that we can control properly. So he's been, uh, she's been doing some uh, bots that that get information from the Wiki RSS feed that are a bit better than we could get through the uh, 
IRC channel. Um, um, and I'm looking at a list I've got, that's why I keep looking to the side of, of topics. Uh, and also I've been talking to um, that guy, Ralph Grabowski. Uh, he didn't turn up today, he was hoping to join us, but he's got an online uh, newsletter that he's been sending out for many, many years on everything to do with CAD, uh, both architecture, engineering, simulation, CAD CAM, uh, the whole thing. Um, I had some discussions with him on, on a few other topics and then uh, started talking to him about this. Uh, he's quite interested, so he'll probably be writing an article sometime. He's mentioned us a, a couple of times in this newsletter. And uh, Lakshmi uh, Kimlani, I think is her surname. Um, I think it was um, Falak. Sorry, that's my Norwegian colleague. The other Frederick, I think it would be called, from France. Uh, he he uh, pointed her to me. She has the AEC Bytes website and uh, newsletter. So she also wants to do a bit of a chat with us. Um, and I'll, I'll do that stuff. Like I've been trying to do that stuff openly on the forum so we can find a good way of communicating with people who want to talk to us. Because we, we, yeah, I'm just a bit wary of, of the whole idea of someone um, driving to the front of the driving to the front of the march and and being a spokesman. So I'll um, I'll do what I can to share what inquiries we're getting and uh, what I th what I think is relevant to tell them. Uh, so anyone's welcome to push me back into the line where I should be if if I'm going off in the wrong direction. Uh, yeah. So that was a, a handful of updates of stuff that I think that might be interesting for people. What else have we got to talk about today? Anybody want to tell me what they had for dinner or what they're doing on Sunday? Otherwise, we might be finished. Nobody's doing anything interesting on Sunday. That's a shame. I'm going to go and watch my daughter riding. If we're finished, then we're finished. So have a really good uh, evening. Uh, I think we're all in a late time zone. So yeah, have a good evening and enjoy Sunday. And we'll see you all on the forums or in a month's time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, everybody.